friends. I'm so happy to see you again. Would you like to hear a story? Today, we're going to read this book. It's called The Kissing Hand. That's a funny name for a story. Do we kiss with our hands? No. What do we kiss with? That's right. We kiss with our lips, not with our hands. So that's a funny name for a story. What do you see on the cover of our book? Some sort of an animal, right? Do you know what it is? It's a raccoon. And look, there's a big one and a small one. This one must be the, maybe it might be the mom or the dad, maybe a grandma. I guess we'll find out, right? This one right here is a small one. He must be like a kid, right? And look what the mom is doing. She's holding his hand. What time of day do you think it is? This looks like a big full moon. When does the moon come out? Yep, comes out at night. Raccoons are night animals. Night animals are called nocturnal animals. They come out at night. This story is about these two raccoons. The Kissing Hand was written by Audrey Penn. She's the author. The author writes the book. Let's see what happens in the story. There they are again on the cover page. The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Illustrated by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leake. The illustrator made the pictures. Look over here. I see some more night animals. Does anybody know what those are called? Opossums. They can hang by their tails. This story was published by Scholastic. They put the book together for us to read. There's the little raccoon. He's looking up at this bird. If you look at the trees, the green leaves are starting to change color. That means it's almost fall. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. <laughs> I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Oh. Poor Chester. He doesn't want to go to school. He wants to stay with his mom and play with his toys. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Nuzzled like, mmm. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently even if they seem strange and scary at first. But you will love school once you start. Do you think that coming to school is kind of scary? Do you think maybe if you do school, maybe you might be missing something at home or missing something you might normally do at home, like watching a certain show or playing with certain toys now that you have to do school? But... Chester's mom tells him he's going to love school. I think you might love school too. You'll make new friends and play 
with new toys. See? Those are things you do at school. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. <gasps> His mom has a secret? I love secrets. I wonder what it is. Let's see. Chester wiped away his tears <laughs> and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the Kissing Hand. That's the title of our story, remember? The Kissing Hand. That's the secret. It's called The Kissing Hand. The Kissing Hand? asked Chester. What's that? Ooh, we'll find out, huh? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand, this one right here, Spread open his tiny fingers into a fan, just like this, real big. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Can you try that? Let me see. Yeah, just like that. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. So his mommy's kiss went all the way down his hand and arm and all the way into his heart. Isn't that special? Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, Whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand, remember the one that she gave the kiss to, to your cheek and think, mommy loves you, mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. So he gets to keep his mommy's kiss with him. Do you think only mommies have that special kissing hand? No. Daddies can make the special kissing hand too. All they have to do is this. And grandmas and grandpas. And aunts and uncles. And friends too. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. So he had the kiss in his hand and his mommy folded his fingers over just like so, like he's holding something. Now do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Kisses do stick. You know, if somebody gives you a little kiss on the cheek and you wipe it away, you're really not wiping it away. You're rubbing it in. So that kiss will stay on his hand. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. See? There's the love, there's the love, here's the love, there's the love. Look at him, he loves his kissing hand because he can keep his mother's kiss with him. That night, remember, raccoons are night animals, so they go out at night. Are you a night animal? Are you gonna go to school at night? <laughs> Maybe you might, but if you're coming into school, the sun is up, it's daytime. But Chester Raccoon, he's nocturnal, so he's going to school at night 
and this is his school in this big tree. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. How do we look thoughtful? Like this. Hmm. When you're thinking, like you're getting an idea. How do you look when you're being thoughtful? Let me see. Thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. What does that mean, grinned? He grinned. I will show you a grin. Watch carefully. Here's my grin. What did I just do? I grinned. I smiled. Grinning means you're smiling. So he grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. He wants his mother's hand. What is he gonna do to his mother's hand, do you think? Maybe give her a high five, hey? No, he has a special idea. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he, what's he gonna do? I think you're right. He leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. So now he has a kissing hand and he gave a kissing hand to his mother. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Look at that. He's going to school and his mother is watching and waving goodbye with her kissing hand. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl, whoo, whoo, rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. The end. Do you think before you start school that somebody might give you a kissing hand? It's okay for your family to give you a kissing hand. When we get to school, we can't do kissing because kissing spreads germs. But before you come to school, your family can give you a kissing hand that you can keep with you all day long. You can fold your fingers around it and keep it in your hand. And when you need it, you can put it on your cheek. And just remember, someone loves you. Someone loves you. All right, friends, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again later. Bye now.